superstars are jockeying for position. Going into the upcoming pay-per-view event, we welcome you tonight to Monday Night Raw. Without question, one of the most anticipated episodes of Monday Night Raw. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. Oh, we are going anywhere. When a man is in the throes of battle against Triple H, they need to remember that he can brandish his trusty sledgehammer at any time. It's just another reason why he's known by the moniker, the game. Also, the cerebral assassin and the king of kings. And I can't help but get the feeling that this is going to be one of those matches people will be talking about for a long time to come. The king of kings, Triple H, is looking as imposing tonight than at any point during his dominant 20-year reign. You know, normally I'd accuse you of kissing up to the boss, Byron, but that assessment's actually pretty spot on. Well, thanks. What a strike. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Is he done? And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. This might be it! Oh my! Things not looking great for Finn Balor. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected. Especially considering who he's in the ring with. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. Back in from the floor. He's got to hurry if he doesn't want to get counted out here. Time's certainly not on his side, Michael. Oh. Finn Balor going high risk. Look at Finn Balor stalking him. See if he takes the bait. Incoming. Finn Balor competed in a... Digging deep for a kick out. Not even close. Oh, what's it going to be? Big time slam. Vicious. Knee drop. Finn Balor must have kissed the Blarney Stone because he's yapping out there. Oh, 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 man. When Finn arrived in Japan, the Irishman survived the grueling dojo training system and formed his own faction, a club, if you will. In 2014, Balor changed the landscape of sports entertainment. And here we go, Finn Balor with the cut. Yeah, I don't believe it, that he didn't win this match right there. The cerebral assassin has a strong mind and a very strong heart. Oh, what a slam. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Triple H showing a lot of heart here, but how can he turn this around in his favor? I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. Don't write him off just yet, guys, because what I see, these guys are pretty evenly matched at this point. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Look at this. He wants no part of the outside. Boom. Now back to the ring. by a bear. 
Talk about taking care of business. One, two, three. No kick out. Balor shooting out of that pinfall like a bullet. He's playing with him now. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. I've heard it from countless superstars over the years, including Stone Cold Steve Austin, that this arena in Rosemont is their favorite arena to compete in. This is strike. Finn Balor in a very bad way right now. He might just have nothing left to give, guys. Finn Balor fought an injury to become Universal Champion. Now he needs to fight that hard again right now. Jumping, yes. leaping attack. The game's starting to look beaten here. There's a good chance he can't recover from this. He's hurt. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. Turnbuckle. The game getting absolutely punished right now. Here we go. Converted DDT. Fight. He's got him covered. Two. Well, that was a close call. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Be careful not to get disqualified. Showing off some of his speed there. The harsh impact. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Triple H. Ah, uh, setting him up, delivering the shin breaker. Suplex. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, mess up your neck, man. And Finn Balor slips out of hard way. Extraordinary elusivity. You gotta believe this one's over. Takes him down in a major way, too. And, a, and the cover for the win! This is it! The Irishman has his Irish up. Balor looking to close this one out. Down 19-16. This one's over, guys. This is Finn Balor's match now. Incoming! And Triple H is feeding off the energy in this arena. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He wants no part of the outside. Three. Beautiful technique. Down. Like being manhandled by a bear. This is his opportunity to win this thing. Finn Balor really needs to dig down deep and fast. Or get it. The shoulders are down. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. The Balor Club is willing Finn Balor to continue this fight. A gutsy battle for sure. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Pedigree. 
to think. I have he could pin his opponent right here. Two, three. Triple H has done it. Corey, I want to tell you something. This has been building for a long time, and it's finally going to break down right now, I think. You can really just feel the tension in the air. You're absolutely right. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think we're going to have to wait much longer. No, not at all. He's going to take the fight right to him. The official trying to prevent this from happening, but this is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad if it breaks down to the aisleway here. Let him fight. Let him fight now. Trash talking. Oh, there we go. And another one. And here we go now. Right and left. Brawl underway. Here's security trying to separate these men. Let him fight. Let him fight now. Oh, my God. Buckle up because we have a contest that's going to blow the roof off this place against the Authors of Pain. I cannot wait. Tag team matchup now underway. Well, that was quick. And these guys are not getting along. They better get on the same page if they want to stand any chance of picking up a victory. And there's the bell. Time to see if Bray Wyatt can still be the world or if he's going to be the one who gets devoured. Settle in, guys. This is going to be a blast to watch. And I can't help but wonder how the champ's game plan differs, if at all, knowing that the title is not on the line here tonight. Wearing down the opponent. Oh, he tags himself in, and we're there. Oh, the animosity oh. we were talking about just exploded. See you bye. You can't leave him by himself. Nasty kick to the face. What a stop. Good grief. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. His shoulders are down. Ake him quickly getting the shoulder up. That's too early for that. Headbutt to the back of the neck. for the cover. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Matt Hardy is far too woken to remain down now. There he goes, crashing to the floor. We'll see. Well, this certainly escalated in a hurry. I don't think any of us expected to see him fall behind so quickly. Two. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Three. Four. He's not looking like himself here. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. He's been gambling quite a bit here tonight. There's plenty of reward that goes along with being outside the ring as much as he has been, but there's a ton of potential risk. Bringing it back into the ring. He 
Reigns making a statement here with this attack. Dodges that one. Oh, nasty impact. Gets the tag. but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. Now, oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Side effect. He's looking good. The shoulders are down. Akam quickly getting the shoulder up. The book hasn't quite closed on Akam yet. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. No, he reverses it. Is he done? Counter here. Whoa, that Hardy dodged that one. He loses it. Superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. He's getting after it here. And last but not least. Here are your winners. Akam and Razor. The authors of game. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next against an imposing adversary. You don't want to miss it. Superstar who simply oozes confidence. The end may be near. Drew McIntyre gets out of the way. He's definitely how did he do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. 
This might be big. As Corey noted, Root is a guy who thinks quite highly of himself. But Byron, some might say his level of confidence is bordering on arrogance. Yeah, but when you look at the hit list of top names he's defeated, let's say Bobby Root has a reason to be a little extra confident. entire faltering some but he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound who has really thrived in the main roster guys but perhaps his most glorious moment came in january of 2018 when he defeated jinder mahal in the finals of the tournament to crown a new united states champion oh god that hurt he's on the defensive now you have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. I've never count this guy out, but I'll tell you what. He's not looking so hot right now. He's really going to need to find a way to get back in this thing. As Michael mentioned, Bobby Roode defeated Jinder Mahal in the grueling finals of the United States Championship Tournament. And truth be told, his road to the finals wasn't so easy either. Ha, one of those rare moments you're right, Zaxton. In fact, a lot of people probably predicted that Rude would have faltered against Baron Corbin or Mojo Rawley in the earlier rounds. McIntyre looking at this. Down to the floor. Corey, what does an opponent have to do in order to be successful against Bobby Rude? Well, Cole, when I finally see somebody truly be successful against Bobby Rude, I'll let you know. Oh, what impact. Drew McIntyre beginning to look a little uneasy. He's always up for a challenge, and tonight is no different. You can learn a lot about a guy in a match like this, and what I've learned so far here tonight is that there's absolutely no quit in him. And he's heading back in. You know, my enemy. Oh, what a headbutt. Can he finish the job? Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be nasty. This is going to be bad. Watch the impact. No, he reverses it. This may very well be it. Bobby Roode pops the shoulder up. Might have slipped there, Cole. Bobby Roode setting it up. Hallelujah. you got to believe this one's over. Is it enough to end this match? It's not much. I mean, it looks to me like he's almost completely out. He's in tough shape, guys, and there's absolutely no room for error now. Guys, not sure how much more Bobby Roode can take. We're finding out. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. Guys, it's a wonder he's even able to stand at this point. If I'm the referee, I'm seriously considering stopping this match. Harsh impact. He's going for the pin. One, two. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. How'd he do that? Ring rattling. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy, he is rolling. He can end it here! Two! A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Not yet. You can see the wear and tear that this fight is taken out of these men. At what point do those thoughts creep in of 
what do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I, I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self-doubt. He looks for it once again. What impact! Here's his moment, Michael. If at first you don't succeed. When this guy's on, look at him. Drew McIntyre is getting ready. Here he goes. Whoa, McIntyre able to avoid damage there. Wow, he escapes it. He's just got no quit in him here tonight, Cole. And oh man. How these superstars are even still in this match is beyond me. Especially given how intense the match has been. Looks to me like these superstars are running out of view controls the pace of a match quite like this game. Oh, what a headbutt. Game, set, match. This one is over. All that's left now is for McIntyre to finish this. And here's a cover. One, two. Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? Close call. Oh, boy. He is rolling. Looking for the finish. Double under. DDT. Land. The cover. One. Two. And he got a near fall out of it. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. And Byron, this takes a ton of strength to pull off, am I right? Oh, you are definitely right, Michael. But you also have to remember how much energy it drains to pull off. Superstars are doing it right now. They've got to be exhausted. Gloriously delivered. A fisherman suplex. That has got to be it. This singles contest has the victor. We got our money's worth for that one. Take a look. Check him out here. He's getting it done here. Here is your winner, Bobby. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. And if that match is any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are... We have a triple threat matchup coming up next. This is going to be out of control. I would be remiss if I didn't mention, and it's important to remember amidst the chaos of a triple threat match, that victory can be achieved in many different ways, and that it's every man for himself. And as I'm interested to see if any alliances get formed here tonight, or if it truly will be one-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. Max Handel finds its target.
dangerous spot for him to be in. He's got to figure out a way to get back in it, guys. Oh, what a slam! Landed him. Jason Jordan now on the defensive. He can't rest on his laurels here. There are two other guys in there that want this match just as much as he does. The dangers of this triple threat match appear to have escalated quickly on him. And this has all the makings of getting out of hand fast. He better be careful. By the looks of things, I don't think he expected his opponent to be as motivated as he clearly is here tonight. A superstar has to create a multifaceted strategy to go up against Jason Jordan. You can't get caught on the mat. You need to stay away from Jordan's power, and you have to try to slow him down. Even I'll admit, that is a lot to plan for. Looking a little out of it, up on that turnbuckle. Now this could very well be the beginning of the end. Excellent point a little while ago, and it's something that must be reiterated. There are so many things in a penny predicament. What's the Undertaker got in mind here? Hey, uh -oh. Byron, how about we take things a little old school? Yeah, I like it. Boom! Corbin looking a bit uneasy here, but we all know that he isn't a very good fight, which is what we're seeing here. He's got to be careful here. While he hasn't absorbed too much punishment yet, triple threat matches have a way of getting out of hand very quickly. Given Baron Corbin's size, strength, and striking ability, an opponent must try to always be moving and keep the lone wolf off balance. And by the way, good luck with that. Look at the torque. Oh my goodness, this hurts. Oh! Power, agility, toughness, and a massive six foot eight, 275 pound frame means there's a lot to prepare for against Baron Corbin. Corey, you offer the best advice a superstar needs to be on the move and keep this monster off balanced. The Lone Wolf possesses all of the physical and mental tools to dominate an opponent. That's why it's essential for a competitor who's going up against Baron Corbin to not allow him to get set. Keep him guessing and moving. There are two things to remember about Baron Corbin's end of days. One, the incredible display of raw power it takes to execute the maneuver. And two, Corbin doesn't care who he drops with. It. And shoulders on the mat. Baron Corbin, no problem getting out. Too soon. Suplex. What could Jason Jordan do now to get the ball rolling again? His chances of winning this triple threat match are starting to dwindle. Given what he's gone through in his match, I wouldn't be surprised to see one of these guys pluck him off here. He's taken on some damage, but so is his opponent. This match can go either way at this point. Slam! He needs to capitalize on it now. Nailed it. And a quick cover from The Undertaker. Not enough to end this one. Yeah, it's going to take more than that to keep him down. Oh, my goodness. Stone. This one's over, guys. Jason Jordan is in a real bad spot. Byron brings up the question of Undertaker losing a step, and it seems as if the notion is constantly tested. Challengers continue to lure the dead man out. No one allows him to rest in peace. Everyone wants to see if the demon from Death Valley still has it. I got an idea. How much you ask John Cena if Undertaker still has it? Ask Rusev how he celebrated. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh boy, he is. Not oh. the arm. Ooh, what impact. And a quick cover from the Undertaker. And the shoulders come up. Gonna take a whole lot more. What a stomp. Good grief.
Dark, he goes for the cover. And there's the kick out by Baron Corbin. Not yet. Baron Corbin just too fast for him. The Undertaker in a very unfavorable position here. He came into this match looking for a fight, and it looks like he found one. This triple threat match really seems to be getting the best of him here, guys. I don't like his chances. Guys, shoulders down, this could be it. Undertaker kicks out with ease. He may be the dead man, but Taker ain't laying down for anybody. He's one of those guys that gets going, and it's hard to stop him. Harsh impact. for the big one. Boom, oh, last back. Nobody does it quite like him. There's a pin now. He's got some fight left in him. Uh-uh. Oh, what a right. Yeah, that's an attitude behind it. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. Gonna settle the score. When a superstar locks up with Seth Rollins, they must be prepared to endure attacks from all angles. Rollins has perfected the fighting style that's been described as a frantic assault. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Oh man. The best laid plans often go awry, but the architect has always been able to rebuild and redesign. Yeah, but it's that reclaiming part at the end of his saying that Seth Rollins often gets tripped up on. Suplex! He's going for it all. Looking for the finish. He'd be smart to stay put there. Devastating elbow. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power and not to let this get out of hand. The WWE locker room better be ready to throw down when Zack Ryder's on the card. As a man himself likes to say, the Long Island IC is ready for a fight 24-7, 365. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Too soon. <laughs> Zack Ryder shown throughout his WWE career that anything's possible. And you can never say never, because being a WWE superstar was his destiny. Just look at the interview I conducted with Long Island IZ for WWE.com. I'll say this, Zack Ryder will give it his all in there and make the most out of his shot. What I think should be looked into is if Ryder deserves any more opportunity. Somebody tell me that. It. 
What do you think Zack Ryder needs to do to get back at Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Seth Rollins got out of dangerous pop there. Great move by the architect. Uh-oh. I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. Stay down for long. Gonna take more than that. And there's the reversal from Zack Ryder. And he will be after that impact. Stationary position Ooh. turns around. Oh, boom salt! Man, did you see the height on that? Seth Rollins is going up. If Rollins can keep his emotions in check, look at oh, high impact. This one's over, guys. This isn't good. I don't think Zack Ryder knows where he is. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. Seth Rollins in a tough spot now. Looks to me like he's starting to feel the pressure, guys. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by now. The truth is, though, he's in far better condition than his opponent, which has to account for something going forward here. Oh, nasty impact. He might have it. Oh. Back I don't know if Ryder can... And here's a cover. Two, three. And Seth Rollins is the winner. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. This was another great moment. Here is your winner, Seth Rollins! Kicking off tonight with an impressive victory. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. She must be here to set the record straight. Man, it's on now. Well, let's listen in and see what she's doing here. Not feeling the love for that superstar. Just a bully. Not feeling the love for that superstar.
Oh, what now? Oh, this should be good. Let's listen and see. doesn't even begin to describe well that wasn't very nice I want to check that ego at the door one of the most popular superstars in the WWE, no question. It's now time for our main event.
We got one-on-one action coming your way next. Since Strowman's arrival in WWE, I think we all knew that he was a dangerous man, but I don't think anybody truly realized what he was capable of until his rivalry with Roman Reigns. Oh, I'd agree, Michael. And to say that Strowman opened a lot of eyes during that rivalry would be a gross understatement, especially when you look at what he did to Reigns while inside an ambulance. Entertainment. He's the son of WWE Hall of Famer Sika. Reigns also comes from the Anawahi family and is related to people like The Rock, The Usos, and WWE Hall of Famers Rikishi and Yokozuna. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him. What a slam! Impactful. Will jar your spine. Well, one of the first had dreams of dominating the gridiron after an incredible college career at Georgia Tech. Sports entertainment is in his blood. When you talk about Roman Reigns' family in this business, you're talking about a dynasty. A Samoan dynasty, and it's something an opponent doesn't want any part of. You're talking about generations of warriors. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. Whoa, Strowman dodged that one. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. Strowman. This is not going to be good at all. Oh, my God. Gosh, from what heights? Can he end it here? Digging deep for a kick out. Yeah, he's not done yet. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. And here's the monster along man, Corey. Look at the power. Hellacious power slam. I'm not sure how much he has left. I thought that was it. Just power out. Lightning fast reflexes. Roman with Superman punch. That this could be a cover. Digging deep for a kick out. That's too early for that. Uh oh. We know what Reigns is looking to do here. 
What a big stop! What a spear from the animal! He's back in control here. Kicks out in the nick of time. He showed up here tonight for a fight, and that's exactly what we are seeing. He missed it. Oh, oh, it's over. This is exact. Just some great execution right there. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Roman Superman punch. Good night. He might have just ended this. This guy's a competitor. He's not going down yet. Not yet. Braun Strowman is taking a beating, and he could be out at any moment now. Tonight may not be his night, guys. Reigns has identified the target. Stand by. Spear. I don't remember the last time I saw Strowman manhandled like this. Things just went from bad to worse for Braun Strowman. He's got the shoulders down. Two, three. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. He ain't playing here. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. Now that's eking out a win. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent 